There are certain achievements every journalist aspires to, like breaking a big story, winning a Pulitzer, canceling dinner with Wolf Blitzer at the last minute. The fun part is waiting outside so you still get to see his face. <laughs> but the dream for any journalist is landing an interview with the president. And that's something that right now Fox News is indisputably the best at, with nearly four times as many presidential interviews as all the other big TV news organizations combined. So how did the men and women of Fox score so many sit-downs with the POTUS? I've studied every interview, and it comes down to a few basic rules. What the f Get the f out of my shot! Get out! As a journalist, you might think your job is to hold the president accountable, but this isn't The Post, and you're not Tom Hanks. Unless you are Tom Hanks, in which case, hey, big fan. The point is, if you want the president to let you ask questions, you've got to take a softer approach. The media, pretty vicious, not just to you, but to your family. How do you process that? Are you getting the credit for this economic revival? How frustrating is it is to have former President Obama? They're out there leading the resistance. You're one of the most loved and respected. I would say that also. In history. How does that feel? Are you having fun in this job? So, how was your week? What a nice change from all the unfair fake news gotcha questions. Like, what's your infrastructure plan? Can we see your tax returns? And please take your penis off the Constitution. It's not a question, but they do say that. Next up, positive reinforcement. Now, obviously, the president is always right, but he needs to know that you know that. Flattery is key. You guys want to start with good news? Yeah. We do have some good news. Go ahead. Right? You don't get a lot of good news in the media. Well, you don't get so much. If I may say, you are uh, everything is advertised as you ran for president, and uh, appreciate everything you're doing. Your ability, your successes, all of the things that you can talk about for two hours here. I like the fact that you're impatient for change. Right over there is your hotel. Yeah, that's right. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? It's a beautiful hotel. Look at your hotel. Man, it's hot out here. Do you have any Trump brand water? <laughs> Never mind. I have some in my Ivanka Trump handbag, right next to my Don Jr. brand douche. <laughs> and there you have it. Landing a presidential interview is easy, if you know how to do journalism good. But don't take my word for it. Ask me. I mastered these techniques and got my own exclusive sit down with the big man himself. Thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule, Mr. President. How are you doing? Great. Tremendous. Good. Let's get right into these questions we gave you ahead of time. Outstanding. Mr. President, we know you're awesome, but just how awesome are you? One of the greatest in the history of our country, and we are setting record after record, day after day. And you're not getting enough credit for it. No, I'm not getting enough credit for it. You are such a good president. I mean, America should just end after you. Mic drop, boom. It's over, folks. Never getting any better. Kill yourselves. But I don't think I've ever seen anything quite like it. Mm. Best president says what? What? Exactly. Boom. Mm. Whoa, look at those bear claws. Man. You know, it makes you wonder, why are people so mean to you, you know? It's just, it's not fair. It, 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 it makes me just so angry. Well, I think the press is fake. Totes. A lot of the media is fake. Bingo. The mainstream ding, 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 fake ding, ding, ding. media, because yes. they are fake and phony. What, what? Smoke weed every day. Well, luckily, I brought a little surprise for you. It's your favorite. Quarter pounder with cheese, filet of fish, two apple pies, and a 12-piece bucket of KFC. Thank you. I love it. And I love you. Let me tell you, the one that matters is me. I'm the only one that matters. Well, Mr. President, I just have to say thank you so much for your time. Oh, I almost forgot about your Happy Meal toy. It's a truck. Thank you. No. Thank you. Thank you.